Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I'm your boy Marvin. I hope everyone's having a good day or evening or morning, wherever you are in the world. We're going to go back in uh, to Brian's uh, podcast, whatever clips, and we're going to comment on a video. Um, and it's called She Cheated on a Rural f um, Fiancé with Frat Guys. Let's get straight into the video and we'll comment as you go. I grew up in a small rural farm village and I was engaged to my high school sweetheart in college. He was in the military. We dramatically broke up and I started seeing, do you want to tell us? You started seeing, this is what you told us, <laughs> D1 athletes, trappers, sugar daddies, oh, etc. And now you do OnlyFans, LOL. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, what is a trapper, first of all? What's that? What's a like trapper? People who sell drugs. Okay. Yeah, drug dealers. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a, was there a, what's it called? A, a totem pole of, like, because you said D1 athletes, trappers, sugar daddies. Okay. What That's was the... It started with the D1 athletes, and then I went to the trappers, and then I went to the sugar daddies. Okay. Back to the trappers. Back to the trappers. <laughs> okay. How how many trappers did you? I, honestly, not like just one, a two, handful. Yeah, couple, couple. Hung around. D one you know. athletes. What are we rowing? Football. What are we talking? Football, basketball. Mm. There was there were some pros in there. Baseball. NFL. Uh no no wait. It it seems like to me she likes a. I wouldn't even. Uh, I'd say. She likes what she feels to do, obviously, at the end of the day. With the trappers, it could be very dangerous, it could be very exciting at the end of the day. And then she said she changed. Um, she wanted someone who's, you know, pretty sporty at one time. Um, I suppose she just goes with the flow at the time, at the end of the day, but it could be dangerous in many, many different worlds. But I'll explain that as we go along. Yeah, there there was an oh, NFL, there was an MLB, yeah. Couple NFL guys? Not couple, just one. But one. no, it was like college. And, and college. you said NLB, uh, MLB. ML, yeah. that's... Major League Baseball. Baseball, yeah. okay. Couple MLB or just... No, just one, just one. Okay. Um, I've not infiltrated the NBA. And was this like... You have not infiltrated the NBA. <laughs> yeah, it's in the works though, right? Any, no, any in your DMs not right now? man. So, you said you were engaged, high school sweetheart. Um, yeah. Why did that end? He, okay, so he actually never proposed. He bought the ring, I tried on the wedding band, and we ended up ending it. I was 17. Um, he was my high school sweetheart, got me the promise ring when he went off to basic training. Um, so I wore that, like an engagement ring on my ring finger on my left hand. Um, and then I got to college, so that was in our small rural farm village um and then i went to college where my undergrad class was eight times the size of my hometown um so it was kind of like a culture shock more or less like i bet and you're gonna meet a lot of people of the opposite sex um it's a mind opener and i suppose a lot of things happen when you leave school and then you go to university or you go to college there's many more people from all over um the state and you know even coming in um from out of the state from different countries at the end of this so it must be a mind opener especially from a rural village in your own 16 17 it must be exciting at the time as well like i just realized i was like oh my god this isn't the only man in the world um i'm like actually way more attracted to so many other people and why we like you have travel. way more <laughs> <laughs> um, and just people that I have way more in common with because I was always kind of settling for him like even like I, I was settling the whole time what do you mean um, how were you settling like we didn't like we got along I was fairly attracted to him fairly the attracted sex to him? was not good that's where the, the attraction the sex was it good? was not good how, um, why you said why why how I feel like that's, that's putting his business out there. Is it, cool? Is it too quick? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. At the end of the day, look, I admire people that are straight talking. And I suppose she was young at the time. She lived in the village at the end of the day. And she realized, she's being honest, she did realize that he's not the only guy in the world. Um, 
she saw a lot of attractive guys at her college and it opened her mind up to a lot of things that hey um i want to live my life i want to experience other things which is fair enough because a lot of young people do that Oh, too quick, too, you know, too yeah, I, okay. <laughs> lots of things, yeah, I just, I didn't yeah. find myself pleased, um, but then, like, religion we disagreed on, and he was in the military, and I was, like, a server, and he hated that I made more money than him serving than he did in the military, he got very angry about that, um, and he's making more now? He is? Yeah. No. So, I mean, actually, I don't know. Yeah. He's he's not married to the girl that was just a friend the entire yeah. time we were together, so. Oh, he cheated on you, too. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Uh, um, <laughs> but I didn't know that until way later. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like we just got to the point like I had tried on the wedding band. We actually like we broke up before he proposed and then tried to get back together a couple years later. No, a year later or the next year. Um, and it was just kind of all the same. Like I was. Just it sounds like to me she had moved on. When you break up with someone, uh, you know, when you're young, 16, 17, then you go to college. And you've been there for about a year, you've made a lot of friends, you've dated one or two people in that time, and then you try to go back to a rural boyfriend or someone you know from the country. It must be, it, you've changed. It sounds like to me she's changed a hell of a lot. He, she grew up and he sort of stayed, even though he was in the army, whatever he was doing, he sort of stayed the same, whereas I think she had more life experience. Even at that young age, things start to change just not satisfied thought I should probably go find something else but like because I want to be a mom and I want to have the house and the kids and everything like I was like okay so I found it so I should just settle and do that but then going to college and meeting tenfold people that I liked so much more than this guy I was like okay was I that, should probably was it cut, the him, drug dealers? cut him free did you like the drug dealers more than your military <laughs> yeah, husband yeah I did fiance <laughs> yeah <laughs> Okay, yeah. wow. All right, drug dealers are... Some of them are cool. I don't know. It's okay. not about the fact... It's not about the occupation, you know. So was... You said you disagreed on religion. Was he a Christian? He, yes. And you're an atheist? I'm agnostic. agnostic. Raised in the church. You said yeah. you dramatically broke up. How did it you was, dramatically see, break up? It's because we were, like, on and off. That was the dramatic part of it. It wasn't, like, anything... Like, when we officially broke up and it, that was it, he, like, <laughs> called me and he was like, are you sleeping with this frat boy that you hang out with? And I was like... No, I'm not, and I wasn't. Like, I was not cheating. And then he was like, "Stop the cap." <laughs> I was not. He didn't ask if I was. <laughs> That's funny. Look, I just I get the gist of it. At the end of the day, I think he was probably calling her a lot more than what she was calling him. He didn't want to let go. Um, she, I think she'd moved on a, a long time ago, but still had sort of feelings with him that uh, he was her first love, and she wanted to let him down gently and hope that he moved on um which he didn't and she probably did still like him a bit or feel sorry for him that's why she was sort of on and off for it that's the gist of it i get i was sleeping with the football players in my dorm so i would have you know maybe told the truth then maybe um but <laughs> what <laughs> anyway <laughs> okay good times good times but yeah, so it wasn't like, it was just like a dramatic, like teary phone call where I was just like, yeah, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm like, I'm Wait, good let's, on this. Wait, let's, here, I'm, what's, uh, here, I'm fucking Bartholomew. <laughs> That's your ex-boyfriend's name. <laughs> Bride's <Right>. funny. <laughs> it, like, uh, he was wait, you, you're from, you said you're from a small rural farm village? Yeah. I'm trying to think of like a southern, That's... all right. What's up, babe? How you doing? <laughs> no accent, but hey, hey, what's up? What do you uh, I'm just <laughs> shooting guns because <laughs> I'm in the military. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I, I miss you, babe. Are you anything like me? You worked hard at school. You got a good first degree. You got a job. I'm an engineer. What's up? Okay, so his his best friend who was in the frat. Are we still role playing? No, 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 no this? we're not role playing. I'm sorry. I need, this is important. This was part of the, dr okay. the dramatic part. The the best friend said that I was cheating on him with his frat brothers or just assumed he's like oh god. oh god at the end of the day sounds like a small-minded rural village there um where the top of the conversation um is this lady there um at the end of the day it's so funny it sounds like it was a few episodes which um 
they sort of both maybe got off on it at the time at the end of the day in that small village the talk of the town and then it moved on from there yeah like Kane's doing this like really like shit that you wouldn't approve of and so that's when he called me up and that's when he hey babe what's up wait you went to school with his Mm -hmm. friend friend. oh right yes and he saw you doing scandalous shit at a frat party that he yeah deemed it to be scandalous was, no it was like was it was i i went to, to a semi-formal with one of his frat brothers so i was like a date like i hung out at their frat a lot because like while you were in a relationship with with his best friend so like i hung around kind of scandalous it, but like scandalous. they were like watching out for me is how it you know kind of felt like yeah, his got. friends were were there to watch out for me in college you know um so I would like hang around them. So I went to their semi-formal, you know, like as a girl that hangs around with frats, like you just find a guy that Red will flag. take you. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you just- hey, Lucy's been honest about it and upfront at the end of the day, but you could tell that in her mind it was over um, a long time ago. I think she realized that in the probably the first couple of weeks that um, she fancied a lot of guys at the, the, the college. Fair play to her. At the end of the day, she wanted to enjoy life and in, 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 in enjoy her college time when she had free time as well. Just Continue. find a guy that'll take okay, you. Okay, so it dramatically, be... what's the dramatic part? That was, it was just, it was oh, Alex was just said that you're call? doing this. And, Here, yeah, like, okay, that let's go literally... back to the phone call. Okay, yeah. All right, so, okay, dump me, go ahead. Well, but that, he, he was like, do you even want to do this anymore? And I was like, no. no. Not really. He was like, okay, wow. I need you to mail my key back because I lived with him for a it's summer. cold. Yeah. Cold as I was, ice. I was tapped out. I mentally broke up with him long before we actually broke up. Good times. Yeah. Good. This is what I thought um, it was over. And I, I think she didn't want to sort of really sort of hurt him and um, him go into like depression. Because it sounds like to me he was wanting to marry her and that was the what he wanted and I think he thought she wanted the same so and then question for you how soon and you never did did you cheat on him or no um yes yes oh okay she's getting that before how much how much how much like it was like couple guys three guys yeah how much like three three guys yeah and you went until sex Yes. Oh, yeah. Question, yeah, the yeah, day yeah. that you broke up with him, did you have sex with another guy? No. Like, like I was not even... Was there no, a like, when that happened, I was I was pretty well behaved at that point. Uh, <laughs> it was okay. like, yeah, the, right. the engagement part, like, the when the ring was bought, that's when I was... R- really quick, I, I don't, I don't want to linger on the OnlyFans stuff so long, but you, you graduated from university, right? Yeah. Um, what, what did you study in university? Uh, my degree's in organizational psychology and communication. I just want to say one thing. I think that um, she'd realised that uh, she didn't want to be committed to him. She wanted to live her life um, and sort of fly away and sort of get on with other things. And he didn't really want her to do that. I guess his friends were trying to keep her in that sort of village life, even at um, college and she wasn't willing to do that which is fair enough i think she was open-minded to different things and wanted to see you know and experience different things with different guys fair enough that's up to her is there any reason you didn't like want to pursue a career in that versus i did oh you did yeah and um i went i worked 80 hours a week and i sat at home worked from home with my little headset 150 cold calls a day i was miserable Um, I was not active, um, so I told them, like, hey, like, you guys aren't paying me enough to pay my rent, so I'm going to go sell jello shots at the bar down the street, made my paycheck in two days, and left the corporate world. Mm. Well, in another note you have here, you say you love talking about dating and relationships, because I feel like I have a lot of insights, plus some taboo opinions on monogamy and domestic partnership. You have a BS in psychology and communication. I feel like it has opened my mind to many forms of non-traditional relationships. I don't necessarily have... Oh, wait. I don't know. Yeah, like, I don't... I missed that part. Yeah. Um, I don't necessarily have... Does a BS stand for bullshit? <laughs> Bachelor of Science. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. It's a great um, degree. 
a very, very difficult. To be honest, um, she seemed like a very, 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 that's the end of the video. She seemed like a very, very cool person uh, at the end of the day um, doing her thing. And I suppose the only thing is she could have been more honest in, uh, you know, being straight up with a boyfriend instead of sleeping behind his back. But um, some people do that. Uh, but for carry on and bettering yourself, I do respect that. So um, fair play. Don't forget to subscribe to um, Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel. And we have more reaction videos coming up soon. Thank you.